I know you get HIV from unsafe sex and sharing needles. Yep, and it can lead to death too. Yeah, but it's got treatment too. So what's the big deal? Fewer people die from HIV, but we do see a lot of newly diagnosed people. About 40 million people in the world have uh, HIV. And we're getting more and more young people. It's not an easy life having HIV. Wow. It's like really scary. HIV is still dangerous. Yeah, really dangerous. Hi, Jesse and Max. Hi. I wanted to show you guys today around the clinic and show you what it would be like for a new patient. Um, when here in the clinic, our patients are um, HIV positive. The first visit when they come is usually a pretty long visit because we have to try to find out how they're going to be able to pay for their appointments and, and medicines if they need them. And then the doctors do a real thorough assessment the first time that they come. I'm the medical director of this clinic, so I mostly take care of patients. I also uh, have a job that involves teaching, and I do uh, research on people with testing new treatments. And then this is our lab. I've been working at the Med Center for almost 20 years now. In my experience, I've noticed that some youth come in and they know that their partners have it and they still have unprotected sex with them. Um, the way I got HIV, most likely, I was living in San Francisco, I was 19 years old, and it was through unsafe sex. I definitely think people are too complacent about HIV today. Complacency is like when you downplay something. It's when like someone forgets or doesn't care. I think a lot of people have the idea that either like it's not going to happen to me or you know if it did happen it's not such a big deal. That happened um, sort of toward the end of the 1990s when all of a sudden we got new medicines that treated the HIV very effectively. But they will be taking this medicine for the rest of their lives. Medicines are expensive, they have side effects, you have to take it every day, which is really hard. Sometimes it doesn't work, so it's not easy. So it's four pills that I take every night before I go to bed. Doesn't matter if I'm traveling, if I'm sick, if I'm tired, I, I still have to take them. So it's manageable in that I can live a long life if I take care of myself, but it's absolutely the most frustrating management I've ever had to deal with in my whole life. Because it's just, it's a very hard thing to do. We want a perfect pair of shoes, that mohawk hairdo, perfect tattoo. They know where to go but to keep themselves safe, they will not investigate that. I knew the methods you could possibly, you could possibly get it. But other than that, I don't think I really knew a lot of in-depth information about it. HIV is a virus that uh, attacks the immune system and tries to take it over. It weakens the host and it's like a parasite because it can't live without the host. You can sort of use an analogy of like a bug in computer software and it takes over that cell and it forces the cell to start making more HIV. So when HIV gets into the body, it uh, gets into uh, the cells. It has to be in a cell to survive. It can't just live on its own loose. And the kind of cell it likes best is an immune system cell called a CD4 positive lymphocyte. HIV replicates by getting into the cells and then uh, using the energy and the nutrients in the cell to make new little viruses that then burst out of the cell and go off in the circulation to infect other cells. That's how it spreads. The immune system does try to defend us against it. And so the cells try to eat it, the ones that are supposed to, and we make antibodies against it and we do what things we can, but the virus just keeps on going and it keeps on making more and more and more viruses every day and the immune system just eventually is overwhelmed. So it's a very nasty virus.
It's important to be tested for HIV because uh, you may feel perfectly fine and just have no idea that you have it. And we see that quite often. But they do, and then they can give it to other people. So that's why it's good to get tested and find out. When I first got tested for HIV, I didn't have a rapid test. I had a blood test. I had to wait about a week or so. I was pretty sure I had HIV, but it was still really stressful, obviously. The benefit of the rapid testing, the patient in their visit um, at that time can know before they leave. Thanks for doing the sample test, and it takes 20 minutes. Okay. The rapid test for HIV tests for antibodies, the proteins that you know the body makes when the infection is there. An antibody is a protein that the human immune system makes to fight off germs and bacteria. And viruses and stuff. Take it across the top of your gums okay. and to the bottom of your gums. There's a reagent in there that looks for it and if it sees the antibody it makes a little line on the stick. It's a bit like a home pregnancy test actually but it's looking for the antibodies and then if it sees them it turns a color. The test shows that he's positive. Remember when I was like 20 and I was coming in here like and you were you've been here that whole time and okay. missing my appointments never coming what did take my medications yes. and how everybody worried about me yes <laughs> each class of medi medications um, stops the HIV at a different point in its replication if people don't take their medicine properly like every day every day every day then the virus can develop what we call resistance, where it gets used to it, and even though the patient's taking the medicine, the virus can still do its thing, and so that's a big problem. Two of the medications that I was on, now my virus is resistant to. So now I can't take those medications because the virus doesn't, they're not as very effective against that virus anymore. Yeah. And I said, call Doug again, tell him this is Sabrina, <laughs> and come to your appointments, you take your medicine. You've seen the light. You've seen the light. Yeah. <laughs> I think you all know how not to get HIV, so just take care of yourselves. Be careful. Don't get it. Don't be coming to my clinic. You know, it'd be lovely to see you as a visitor, but I don't want to see you coming as a patient. Oh, it is a big deal. I think everyone should get tested because it's faster and easier now. Because I want to grow up. I was just a teenage kid, really, and just yeah. grown into. I'm glad you've grown up. I'm so happy you've grown up. Too. <laughs>